Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know what happened to my voice there. I just kind of lost it. <clears throat> um, and if you're new here, you're more than welcome. And please do like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'd love to know how this resonates with you as well. So if you are inclined to leave a comment for me, I'd love to have your feedback. I'd love to know um, how this resonates with you. So this is for what's happening in October for you. So we're in the 1st of October right now. Now this is, a, you could be watching this video at any point. Um, so it would be the beginning of the month that you are watching it in, but specifically now, anybody that's watching this on the 1st of October, or the first few days of October around the new moon, this is for you. So we're gonna use a tea card. I'm gonna see what area of your life this message is going to be about. We have Korea. Okay, so for some of you, this is a message about career and happiness in that career. Okay, so for some of you, oh, I'll put that back, I should put it there. Some of you may have not been feeling perhaps over the moon about your work at the moment. Maybe you don't really see what you do for a living as a career. Maybe you see it more as just a job, you know, something that you do. So we're going to get into this reading to see what do you need to know right now about this. Well, there's a change, there's a change coming. Um, this could be that maybe there's news of, and for some of you I'm feeling like there's news of a job ending, um, which you didn't really realize was gonna happen, but it has made you very, um, it has made you pay attention to what it is that you really want to do. It's kind of forced your hand into changing what you're doing and to doing something different. And, this is based around an intention that you've had. So there's some kind of venture or intention that you have been thinking about. And Sir Willow is kind of suggesting that things are shining brightly here. There is a chance for this intention to actually manifest, especially around this new moon. So in this new moon energy, if you are setting the intention of you want change, especially to do with your finances or what you're doing for a living, you're just so bored with what you've got going on. There's gonna be a massive change with your work. Um, and like I say, for some of you, that could be that your actual job role is ending and this is gonna spur you on to going in for, what else is there out there for me? What is gonna happen for me? So let's get into these tea cards then and see what we get for you on this. We have younger man coming out on here. So this could be that somebody younger than you um, that is male is gonna offer you some kind of um, job. There's gonna be some kind of job offer coming through from this person. Now you may, for some of you, you already know who this person is. I'm feeling like they're quite bohemian almost, like um, a very free-spirited kind of person. They, they're young in, for some of you, they kind of just young in their outlook in life, but not necessarily younger, if that makes sense. Now, we have mice coming out on here. So this, this is about discord between friends and family. So there's something about this offer that you're getting coming through to do with your work. Some of your, some people close to you, they don't think it's a good idea. They they don't believe that this is the right path for you. Okay, and then we have casket, somebody going out of your life or the end of a situation. So for some of you, this is gonna be about the family members or the people around you that don't agree with what you're doing. You may start to realize actually, you know what, you don't seem to agree with anything that I'm doing. You don't seem to be on par with what I'm doing. So for some of you, this could actually be a relationship ending um, or a friendship ending. There's an end to a situation that's needed to end for some time and it's kind of coinciding with this uh, new job coming in. You are highly thought of. So there is someone in your energy that I feel you already know, um, perhaps does have a lot of high regard for you. And maybe this person has told you this, um, or maybe you just know this. For some of you, I feel like um, 
it's a female. So if this isn't a romantic thing, if that doesn't resonate with you as this being a female, then it's someone that looks up to you. Um, for some of you, that could be like a teenager. Um, it's someone that thinks a lot of you. They do admire you. They might not outwardly say it, but there's something about you that they really do admire. I'm getting something about hairdressing with that as well. So that could be somebody that perhaps is going into hairdressing or into beauty, that kind of thing. And lion, time to act. So this is coming in very, very fast. With Hagalaz there, this is like a sudden change. It's almost like a shock to the system that's going to be happening here. And you'll know it because you will have a chance to go yes at this. And it has to be like fast action. So it's almost like you have to take that action now. Now, for some of you, this is kind of like the ending of that situation that you need to act on now in order for this to come in, because that's what's holding you back. <laughs> Vars, secret admirer. Mm. Well, this was supposed to be a career reading, but you've got somebody in your energy that does, I feel, have hearts for you, uh, does want to be around you, does like you. And it's funny, isn't it, when sometimes you make a change to one thing, other things start to open up. So... I feel like this secret admirer may actually reveal themselves. Now, there's something about hills on here. Perhaps you like to go to a place that has hills. Um, but there's some kind of obstacle to do with this. And I can see somebody spending time just, just having time out in nature. And this is going to help you to overcome these obstacles. There may be a period of this is not good or it's going to feel very scary and maybe that's why you needed to watch this video is to kind of have this full this pre-warning that in October this is going to change something in your career is going to change and there are going to be obstacles to overcome but in you separating yourself from the situation going to those hills spending that time by yourself it's actually going to give you the answers that you need and the sun shining on the top of that hill there, which is related to the rune Sir Willow. This is sun power energy. There's a lot of healing going to those hills. There's a lot of healing energy in there. Um, and it's going to empower your intention. It's going to give you a clear, clear, um, I don't want to have to repeat that, but I did. A clear way forward on this. We have seahorse and family matters. So that could go with the mice here. I feel like there may be somebody um, perhaps contacting your family and trying to cause problems here for you, um, which again, this is obstacles to overcome because if you've kind of said to somebody, you know, it's over or I don't want you in my life, but they're contacting your family, trying to get their way back in through that way, it can cause some issues on there. So this can create some disappointment and with the scissors here, I'm kind of feeling like there's a need for a cord cutting to happen. There's some kind of cord that needs to be cut in order for you to really, truly move forward in this, move on. But we do have good news. We have an archway, new opportunities, possibilities and paths opening up. Now, for some of you, I feel like you recently went through an archway or maybe archways, you're going to see this archway and it's going to remind you of this reading. And this is when, when they, this happens, you're going to realise the opportunities that are coming in, the possibilities that are coming in. Okay. And for some of you, this is about, it is very nature based. It feels like it's about growing something. So that could be growing plants. It could be um, some kind of farm work. Mm, dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair now again this could this is definitely where the opportunities is coming from it's coming from some masculine in your energy and i keep seeing this hair like tied up it's almost like somebody who ha who has like maybe longish hair and ties it up um i'm getting this energy like i say of somebody who's very vibrant very bohemian very sort of um new age and uh yeah i don't want to say buddhist but sort of along that kind of energy you know they they're very thoughtful of the earth and 
this opportunity that they're bringing to you is connected to that. Very interesting. <laughs> you are going to hear this good news very soon. It's going to come through very soon. And I'm just going to have a look now at the months of the year to see when can you expect things to flourish for you. Well, September has already been and gone. Um, so this may already be in the pipeline for some of you. The This is already in the pipeline. It's already started to go. Um, and again, like you can see those trees on there. There's something, there's something to do with trees or plants, um, bark even as well. Um, that is to do with this this new business venture. Okay, I'm going to get into the tarot cards then and see. So let's have a deeper look into when is this happening for you. Okay, so we have the Hermit on here, which is number nine in the Major Arcana. So again, that September sort of time, you've kind of felt like you're just going along, bumbling along in the dark, like you're not sure of what direction you're taking. Uh, but you know that what you're currently doing for work isn't resonating with you in the slightest. It's just not cutting it for you. Um, you have been listening to yourself, though. You've been hearing within yourself like... Just be patient, just be patient, something will come in, something will change. And it's interesting because whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you've been in an employed position and you've not wanted to let go of that employed position because obviously you've got bills to pay and things like that. But now this opportunity you know is going to more than pay for the bills. It's worth taking that chance on it. But you know you've had to be patient. It's almost like you already knew that this was coming in. It's like you already have been waiting for this to come in and you've kind of been asking for this to happen um yeah you've been asking for this to be the case yeah you definitely looking at this as something that's going to help you to be self-made you know it's it's going to bring you more stability especially if you are a single person. I feel like I'm talking to somebody that perhaps lives on their own. So the bills are down to you. You know, from th this month in October, you're going to start to see a lot of financial gain from this, this new venture. It's going to happen very fast. It feels like it's happening really quickly. Um, Something to do with stars as well. It's like I, I can kind of see you having this conversation whilst looking at the stars, looking in the sky. Yeah, it's going to be very clear as well. And it's like it is the logical thing to do. It's the logical way forward for you in your life. Um, you are actually quite good at being a leader, but you kind of took a step back but now you're starting to realise what you can do and how you can bring this into fruition, bring this into being. It's almost like the idea is presented to you and then you're going to run with it. Now, the only fear that you have on there is we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position. There's a fear of taking responsibility on this and what that would mean if things didn't go well. Um, so it almost feels like there's an opportunity here that is solid gold. It's like a diamond. It's a gem. You know, this isn't an opportunity that comes around very often. It's something very unusual, very different. But the only thing that's holding you back here is the fear of not being able to um, deal with the amount of responsibility that would go with it. Okay. There may be other distractions in your life as well. Um, I feel like for some of you that could be to do with relationships. It could be to do with, um, you know, where you kind of have desires and things that you want to do. Could could be hindering your ability to stay focused on the career path. Because there's other things that you'd want to do that you are thinking about. So 
So what do you, what advice can we give you on here? For some of you, what I'm seeing on there as well is just beware, there may be a female, a feminine in your energy that could be trying to manipulate in a certain aspect. Um, like they're kind of trying to, they're playing along like they want to be part of this, when in actual fact, they just want to control it. There's some element of wanting control or wanting to manipulate a situation for their own gain. So just be wary of that. It may be somebody in your energy that isn't really who they say they are or what they are portraying themselves to be. Your advice here is about transition and you need to know that it's perfectly safe to go from what you thought was stable into something that feels like I'm not sure whether it's stable or not. It is moving you forward in the direction of what you've been asking for, of how you want your life to be, of what you want things to be. You know, there's a lot of sunrises coming up on some of these cards. It's like it's the dawn of a new day and you are becoming more aware of that, you know. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely this energy of a message coming forward, a message coming through um, that will bring a lot of clarity in the direction. And it might happen after you've watched this video. I am getting in the next couple of days, if I'm honest. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom there as well. So this is a long-term investment, basically. It's something that's going to bring stability in the long term. Um, let me just see. I keep hearing 10,000 as well. Yeah, you are working on leadership. And you're going to be able to sit in that throne at some point, knowing that you have taken a different perspective on the way you thought things should be. And this is a major thing for you is I feel like you kind of lived your life in a bit of a pattern. And it's like it's, you know, you go to work and you do this and you do that. This is throwing all of that out. And in throwing all of that out, some of it has actually been habits that haven't been the best for you or patterns that haven't have taken up a lot of your time or distracted you. Whereas this is actually allowing you to really sit in your power or stand in your power and realise what your true needs are. Okay. There's no more lack. You're coming out of a feeling of lack. And I feel like that's going to change everything for you in your relationships, in your how you feel your bank account's doing, that kind of thing. But you do have to let go of something here. There's something that you need to um, let go of. And it's interesting, there's a lot of roses on there. And there's that rose on here as well. So again, like I say, whether you're male or female here, there just seem to be this feminine energy around you that's trying to know what you're doing, wants to have more information, wants to know things, but not for the right reasons, okay? So just, yeah. Ooh. keep your guard on that one um you know keep your cards close to your chest there is a need here to defend something to protect something don't let them in um so just be aware of that because i feel like this person has a tendency to try and get around you and they know how to talk to you to open you up um but yeah, this is the energy. It's almost like it's connected to this, some situation that's going out of your life, you know, and you're going to need that period of time on the hills, um, just kind of thinking about that, releasing that, okay? Now, there is, this is definitely something that's very creative. Um, it's very unusual. You'll know it. You'll know it if it's your reading because you've been thinking about doing this but you weren't sure how to go about it. And this younger person or the person that acts a bit younger, that's got like, that's male, that's got their um, longish hair, you know, they are bringing you this offer. Um, and it's something not to be missed. Like we got that card down there, time to act, you know, you wouldn't, you will know this when it comes in. And like I say, I'm feeling like it's actually going to be in the next couple of days. I don't feel like it's going to be 
a long time away. <laughs> There's that Knight of Cups again. Yeah, this is a message coming through for you um, very, very soon. Um, it's just going to fill you. It's going to fill your cup. And we've got that three of wands on the bottom as well, which is this is about your ship coming in. So again, actually, I'm, I'm thinking more three days. So we said a couple of days, didn't we? So in three days from watching this video, this is all going to start to unravel for you. This is all going to start to happen, to come out. There's something about this ribbon there as well. Um, some kind of ribbon that's important on this, or it's kind of making me feel like there's some kind of... Um, it's like a hand fasting or binding going on. Um, let's take that as it resonates. Okay, so what do you need to focus on right now? What do you need to focus on? Ooh, okay, we have the five of wands in the reverse position. So what you need to focus on here is letting go of competition, letting go of conflicts, letting go of anything that feels not quite right, you know, not quite good. Because it feels like you've had some wise counsel here and this person has kind of put your mind at ease, at rest. It's like there's, there's no other competition, there's... There's no need for conflicts or anything like that. It's going to work out well, you know. I almost get the impression that this is kind of keep it close to your chest for now. Um, but it, it is definitely a solid offer that's come in. Page of coins as well. I feel like you've got offers coming in everywhere. This It feels to me like maybe you have been a lot of people that are going to want to um, invest in this with you. They want to put money into it. Um this could be a product that you're selling that many people are going to want to buy from you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're attracting it to you. You're attracting all of this energy to you. Um, you are attracting in, I keep getting this vibe of like love though as well. Like you're attracting in a lot of new energy. Like I feel like there's a, an ending in your job currently. There's an ending in a particular relationship that you've been in as well. Um, and now it feels like since you've done that, since you've cut these things out that have been kind of holding you back or getting in the way, and now you are like no longer disappointed because this offer's come in and you are able to actually do something with it. You're attracting a lot of this into yourself. Okay. You've been thinking about this for some time. You've been wanting this for some time. Um, and for some of you, it's almost like sentiment that's held you back from being able to do it. Like you've been holding on to something from the past for quite some time. But now you're ready to fill that cup. You're ready to um, express what it is that you, you need and you want here. Yeah, I can see like, it's almost like um, there's teas and things like that as well. So like drinks. Um, it's definitely nature based. So this could be, you know, like drying of um, leaves and things and, and yeah, teas and things like that. There's something about having a brew with this. Okay. What is your final outcome here? Okay. Wow. We have the Knight of Wands. So you're leading something with this. You're going to look very charismatic. Um, this is kind of showing helping you to feel very confident in yourself. It's like, you know what you're doing now. You've learned a new skill and you're putting it to the test. Um, there's a lot of inspiration, a lot of enthusiasm with this. It's good, really good. You've definitely made the decision on what it is that you wanna do and what you need to do. Um, it's interesting because that shape there looks a little bit like Nord is, one of the runes, and that energy is about your soul needs. It's about um, knowing what your restrictions are, what constrains you, and making a decision, making a choice. Um, so I do feel like 
you've definitely made a choice on here and there's something about this eye on the top of there as well so it's like this is almost like your higher self is guiding you it's guiding you along this path and there's victory very fast victory coming in okay so by the 7th of this month i feel like you're going to already have been in talks about this this offer is already going to have come in and then it's time for you to act and it's about taking a quick action on it okay I'm going to leave this reading here for you. If that resonates with you and you would like to know more, we can do more information, find out a lot more for you. Um, if it, When it actually does happen, do get in touch and we can see what happens from that point on as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am doing at the moment um, two question readings for £10 as well, which you generally receive that reading within like six to 12 hours, if not sooner. So please do get in touch if you're interested in any of that. And um, I will speak to you very soon. Have a blessed day.